there are many, many ways. In fact, in, in my book, in what I've written, I've, I wrote on an entire approach to how to do this in your organization. But let me give you some simple tips, um, you know, for your viewers and on how to think about your brand from within. And I will simplify it even more by bringing in the element of the four C's. So what's the four C's that need to happen in organization? Number one is clarity. It is very important that every single person in your organization knows about your brand. And I know you kind of mentioned, hey, in a small organization, it's a lot easier. Yes, it is. But I do a lot of work. In fact, my PhD is looking at small organizations and internal branding. And one of the things that I discovered is only the leader knows the brand inside out. Everyone else does not have the right clarity. So individuals in organization or employees in organization interpret the brand differently. So number one is clarity, making sure everyone is on the same page. Number two is connection. So it's one thing to know about your brand. It's another thing to get people to believe in your brand. That's a tough part, right? Because, you know, when I go around and work with organizations and and these organizations do a really good job in letting all the employees know about the brand. But when you speak to them, the employee goes, yeah, okay, I, I, know, your I know my values, but so what? So that connection, that belief piece is extremely crucial. And there is a whole variety of tools that I talk about in my book to help you, number one, of course, get people to know clarity, but more importantly, get them to believe in the brand. So connection is about creating belief. And you could do that in a few ways. So you could do that for example, by having powerful stories that represent what the brand means. Steve Jobs does a really good job of that. I mean, you know, the kind of stories that Apple tell about Steve Jobs is a good example of employees who go, wow, I love the story of the hero. And they get inspired to work there and what it represents. So it could be stories, it could be training. So I spend a lot of time training organizations all around the world to get the employees to understand the brand, but to believe in it. So there are many techniques and tools that you can use to create connection. Number three is consistency. Now, this is a huge problem with organizations that I go in because why? They launch their brand to the world. Woohoo, we have got great values. Yes, our purpose. We want to transform the world. And three months later, psss, completely sizzles out. <laughs> so consistency means that if you put a message to the world, the world needs to see you doing this consistently every single time. And that's the third C. The fourth C is champion. Champion means how can you get people in your organization to advocate your brand, to tell other people about your brand, to influence inside the organization and outside the organization. For me, again, that's another big thing that I don't see in organizations. You tend to see the leader being the champion, but you don't see employees doing that for the organization. Mm -hmm. oh, my work ends at five o'clock. It's time for me to go home. See ya. World-class organizations have champions that walk the talk, that lead the way, that influence and act as a catalyst of change. So that's the four C's. Mm -hmm.